So for those excited about the release of the Guardian Takedown free event and update, I have a little bad news for you. The event has been cancelled until further notice. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR free video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, at amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A links within the video description. So last night I was sitting there scrolling through Twitter, watching the world seemingly self-destruct with all the craziness that's going on, and then I got a notification from Gearbox. They released this statement in regards to what's going on in the world of today, giving us an update on the release of the Guardian Takedown, something we know that have all been waiting for. They said the following. This week we muted our channel out of respect for what's going on in the world and we will be postponing the launch of the Takedown at the Guardian Breach. We are increasing funding for our 2K Foundations program by an additional $1 million and expanding its mission to help fight racial injustice and inequalities in black communities across the globe. Black Lives Matter. Now I won't lie, I'm disappointed it won't be released today, June 4th. And I think we can all say the same. It's something we have all been excited about and I feel it's something right now Borderlands 3 needs. But people. At the end of the day, there are much more important things going on in the world. And yes, it's disappointing we won't get this new update and we won't know when it will drop. But what Gearbox have done here, I 100% support and am behind. Firstly, after reading some disgraceful comments about this matter on Twitter, Facebook and Reddit, etc, etc, where people are stating this shouldn't be postponed and it won't help anything and what's this game update and free event being postponed going to do to help? Firstly guys, if you are thinking similar thoughts, although I won't hold it against you, I will try at least to give an opinion on why I think the very opposite. What's going on in the world of today is absolutely terrible and although I don't condone the rioting and looting etc etc at the end of the day as much as it seems people have forgotten the very reason these things are happening and are just out there for themselves to riot and loot the very reason it all started won't ever be forgotten and its stances like what Gearbox are doing is the reason it won't ever be forgotten. What Gearbox have done is paused everything, muted everything and this in my opinion is the right thing to do. This gets everyone's attention, and everyone's attention is needed right now. Attention should be on the fact that black lives do indeed matter. Now if you are one of these people that believe all lives matter, but reply this to people saying black lives matter, you are missing the entire point of why black lives matter, and why people are protesting it right now get so angry when you reply with such. Because it's an ignorant reply to what's happening in the world we live in, not just right now, but what's been happening for a very, 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 very long time indeed. I mean, yes, it's true, all lives matter. But how can all lives matter if black lives don't? Which is the point, black lives matter and they matter just as much as white lives, Asian lives and every other form of life. To put it simple for those out there struggling to understand, let's say you and a few friends are riding on your bikes, one friend falls off his bike, cuts his leg and is bleeding. You having a first aid kit, what do you do? Do you apply first aid to everybody who's riding their bikes, although only one person's fell off? Or do you apply first aid to the friend that fell off his bike and cut his leg and is bleeding? Obviously you apply first aid to the person who cut his leg and is bleeding. Well right now, within the world we live in, black people are bleeding. So using the slogan of all lives matter when someone states black lives matter is one of the most ignorant things you can do right now. And this stance that Gearbox are doing is needed for many people to realise and understand this. If many of us took this stance, more and more people would wake up and listen to what's going on and not just shut the world off and carry on with their lives. I mean I saw one person state the only reason Gearbox are doing this and postponing this event is because the patch obviously isn't ready. I mean people. Please don't have this mindset. That's so ignorant, it's unbelievable. But yeah, I'm here to bring you guys the news on Borderlands and a patch which was supposed to land today and bring with it the Guardian takedown. As of right now, when the patch will arrive, we do not know. But I wouldn't expect it anytime soon as there's just more important things going on in the world right now. And that's just how it is. 
As soon as anything does drop though, any news on this event, I will have you covered right here on my channel. Now the Revenge of the Cartels event won't be stopped, you know, it was going to end today, June 4th, but it will continue on until the patch and the takedown at the Guardian Breach does arrive. So when that will be, like I said, at the moment we do not know, but you can continue on playing the Revenge of the Cartels event until further notice. But people, for now, just stay safe out there and look after your loved ones. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also guys, if you want to support me directly and become a member to my channel, do click that join button. But again, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.